Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Well, we made it to the end of another year. Another year filled with crazy supply chain issues. Another year with bizarre plot twists. And even though it probably seemed more like a double pendulum than a simple roller coaster, this year had some high points at Spark Fun too, and I'd like to share some of those with you. Now, in what seems like a lifetime ago, but it was just the beginning of this year, we paired up with the folks over at Elector to publish a Spark Fun centric Elector magazine. Now, Elector has been around since 1961, and it was great to be working with them and helping them celebrate 60 years. That's crazy. Now, in January and March, we were able to release the Raspberry Pi Pico and the RP2040, respectively. These are both great additions to the Raspberry Pi lineup, and the RP2040 is Raspberry Pi's entry into the microcontroller world. Now, February saw NASA land on the Martian surface its latest Mars rover, Perseverance, carrying with it its first helicopter, Ingenuity. And why was this exciting to spark fun? Well, as Tim Cannon pointed out in his interview with IEEE, that helicopter was using off-the-shelf SparkFun parts, uh, specifically our LiDAR light as a navigation tool. That's right, a part that you can pick up, a part that I have on my workbench just sitting there. It's crazy, is now on the surface of Mars, and at the time I'm filming this, I believe Ingenuity has just completed its 18th flight on Mars. That's insane. Now, in May, we released a product without a lot of fanfare, but we think it's cool nonetheless. We released the 2D barcode scanner. Now, if you're like me and you want to create the illusion of being well organized, the first thing you get is a label maker. And you put labels all over everything in your shop, all over the drawers, so you know what's where, or what's supposed to be where. Well, the next step is start encoding everything with a barcode. Uh, whatever your collection, if you want to catalog it, if you want to keep it organized, you can go online. There are tons of websites that allow you to uh, print barcodes, stick them on whatever you've got, whatever you want to catalog, and this scanner will read them quickly and easily, either using your laptop or desktop, Raspberry Pi, or even an Arduino. Now, throughout the year, we continue to work on our enclosed RTKs, our high-precision global positioning units. Now, this is a new adventure for us. We usually don't do things that are fully enclosed and ready for use right off the shelf. But this has been getting some great feedback from both the embedded engineer community as well as the surveying community. And just a few weeks ago, we released our most recent, the Facet. Uh, and this has been great to see where these are going. Now, we also continue to work on our micromods, and in November, we came up with a new design idea. Now, initially, when we released these last year, the idea was that you had a carrier board that did a function for you. It was a display board, or it was a weather board, or a LoRa board, and onto that, you could swap out processor boards using the M.2 protocol. Well, we thought, what if you wanted more flexibility than that? So this year, we made main boards that allow you to swap out not only the processors, but function boards as well. So you can swap out your processor, but maybe you want a display board and a LoRa board. You can swap those out, but maybe you decide maybe the LoRa board's not right. Maybe you want to switch it to a Wi-Fi board. Easy. Also using the M.2 protocol, you can swap out those boards as well, and that's been a great addition. Now, December saw the release of what is one of my favorite products, the Artemis Global Tracker. Now, this is a full release on red boards with full support and documentation. We released this previously through SparkX, and it had some use cases out in the field and one of our favorites came from the Norwegian Meteorological Institute. They've been dropping these on ice flows in the Arctic Ocean and tracking where those flows go and how long they take to melt. It's been fascinating, and we learned a whole lot of stuff from it. Now, since the release just a couple of weeks ago, we have units going out all over the world, and we're really excited to see how these are gonna be implemented. Now, aside from products, we also worked with some great people. I mean, way too many to name, but just a few that come to mind off the top of my head. I mentioned Elector at the beginning of the year. They're wonderful. Uh, great Scott Gadgets, we continue our work with them and our collaboration. We also worked with Edge Impulse, did a few webinars. We're looking forward to doing more of those in the coming year. Alex Glow, we worked with her because she mentioned a doot button on one of our boards. Now, at that time, none of our boards had a doot button. They had a boot button, but thanks to perhaps a, an incorrect choice of fonts on the silk, it looked like doot. Well, thanks to her, in October, we released our limited edition Scala board with a doot button. And when Geeky Faye mentioned on Twitter that they had always wanted to add electronics to their already amazing art, but were worried about blowing stuff up, we sent them uh, one of our inventor's kits, and they live streamed their entire process, the adventure from blinking an LED all the way through building an autonomous vehicle, and then changing the code on the fly with input from their live stream community. It was great to watch. At the end of a year that seemed to have more than its fair share of less than good news, 
we wanted to touch on some of the positives too. And all this is to say that we couldn't have done any of it without all of you. Now, whether you're a student or an educator, a hobbyist or a distributor, a prototyper or an engineer at NASA, it's your support that allows us to keep doing what we do so that we can help you do what you dream of doing. So all of us here at SparkFun want to wish all of you a very happy new year, a year filled with wonder, with hope, with inspiration, and with a sense of community that we all share. So here's to all of you Spark fans from all of us Funyuns here. Happy New Year and happy hacking. How do I start? <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the year, we continue to work on our, 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 our products we've released in recent times. Recent times? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say. How am I going to say? It? So, from all of us here at Spark, ah, there's still more I want to say. Hi, old sport. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to say. I want to say something different and better. Oh, yeah, better. <laughs>